Good morning. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you and congratulations. So much happening with you right now. Trending on Twitter, new shows. Yes. So how are you? Oh. I am good. I also watch your show uh, as an I wow. super love it. So congrats. <laughs> Swear, I think it's the coolest thing. But in the, but talking about um, careers right now, mm-hmm. we just want to go back to where it all started. Oh my gosh. So, but, so do you remember when you, you know, decided to start acting? I know um, we talked before and you know, we wanted, you wanted to finish college first and but prior to that, did you was it really your plan to get in the industry already? Um, sobrang hindi. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same for you, because your mom is an actress also. But when I was younger, did everybody ask you kung mag-artista ka din? When I was younger, I didn't look like an artista. <laughs> same. <laughs> Feeling ko I was one of those, ano, yung, basta hindi ako, my mom was, um, you know, she was very slim, she was the beautiful morena woman, and I was just, um, taba ching ching, and the giot girl, <laughs> didn't want anything to do with acting. Oh my God, same. As in, I really had no plans, especially when I was younger. Um, but the, the question was always there and I would always say no. But I guess I only really thought about it seriously in college. Because when you're in college, you need to think like, what are you going to do after? Ganyan. Um, and there, that's the first time that I considered it. Talaga, na parang I felt how lucky we are that we have that opportunity. Yeah. Quite easily, de ba? Because of our family, ganyan. And I guess yun lang din yung inintay ko. Na parang when I was older, at least it was my decision na, not because like other people were telling me to do it. Do you ask your parents, your mom, for tips or comments? Because ako, she's like my most important critique. Same, same. De ba? Yeah. Especially when I was starting, like sa sabi niya talaga na pangit ng ginawa mo ng uulit yun. So I'm like, at least I know that someone is looking out for me with my yeah. best interest in mind. Na hindi ako babolahin na oh, oh okay lang naman ganon. Like she is also like my worst, you know, critic. How did you choose your roles after after your first ano acting role? Na? I think it took me a long time to realize that. Um, I had a choice, I guess, as an actress. Because parang it's a job that you have so many people around you, de ba? Mm-hmm. You have managers, you have handlers, you have your networks, and I think mostly in recent years, ko lang talaga na paglaban yung gusto ko talaga ng gawin. And it started talaga with Elise, because I did Elise with Anchong and direct Joel Ferrer, and it was like. Um, one of the films that parang I was so proud of. I guess that's where I realized that uh, you really have to carve your own path by making your own decisions. And ever since then, parang if it's something that I'm not so sure about, parang I'd rather not do it. If it's a script na um, I don't believe in, parang wag na lang. Parang minsan kasi as an actor, de ba? Parang of course you wanna get work, kasi hindi naman steady yung work natin, de ba? It's per project. But at the same yeah. time, you'll really get the work that you want if you choose your roles well. I feel. How do you balance? And yeah, you you did mention na you you're now more um you're braver in choosing your own roles. You're braver in speaking your own your own mind. But how do you balance um uh choosing your roles for commercially viable work or and then your indie or more you know those braver those i know they're more you know daring kind of um projects oh uh-huh. i always looked up to actors who were able to do both like yung pinaka unang idol ko i would always say with lovey because she would always have um 
a TV show or commercial films, but then she went to Cannes. She got to do all these indie films yeah. that, that went around the world. So I was like, parang dun ko na realize na, wow, you can really do both, de ba? Or or like Isa. Isa is also someone I look up to because she has films like Bliss and Barber's Tales. Oh my God, sobrang favorite kind Barber's Tales. Ang ganda ng Barber's Tales. Direct June. <laughs> <laughs> and and she still does TV shows that that everyone really you know latches on to. So parang wow, you can be both. <laughs> In your theme natin today, you can be both. <laughs> you can be both through. And actually, you I think. I want go. You're doing both also, but alam mo yun. We always go back to whether it's commercial or indie. The story, no. True, exactly. Um, I don't know if you feel this way also, Yana. Pero coming from a showbiz family, I always knew na parang fame wasn't what made them happy. Yung mga artista, de ba? Because like I saw my parents, my grandparents, some of them super famous, but. I always knew na parang hindi dapat yun yung goal mo kasi parang yeah. di naman di naman siya nakaka-happy. I mean it's a bonus but it's not really what I saw gave them fulfillment or yung talagang pride. So I guess the all the goal was always to do good work. Yeah, And I feel like ganun ka din. Yeah, kasi my mom My mom was never the I know the the big you know the big star the I know but she was always around. And so she she kept reminding me na the goal isn't to become yun nga famous, but the goal is to be good at what you do and be reliable enough for you to stay in the industry for as long as you can and keep doing what you love. And then and I'm glad na I grew up na mom was that kind of actor. I guess na I appreciate the kind of actor that she made herself to be. So, I think that's the goal also for myself. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't care then, mommy. Mom. <laughs> you know, we're so lucky with the kinds of parents that we have. They're so supportive and they're so ang galing nila magbalance ng how they are as a mother and how they are, you know, as actors. Lala. Yeah. You're so, you're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Speaking of lucky, <laughs> yeah, we we've been super lucky like the past few months because of Papa at Peril. And I want to ask you, like, you know, there's always this staple answer that you hear when when actors win awards. But for you, like, what's the real meaning of winning an award for your film? No, when we won for Uri sa Uri An. Naiyak ako talaga when Ray won, and then when you won, and then when it won Best Film. Feeling ko kasi as a producer, alam kong pinahirapan ko yung mga tao on set. Of course, you can give them the budget that they dreamed of. Mm. To see them so challenged, but just bring out all the cre- creativity that they have, and then be awarded for it, it's just so fulfilling to me, for me as a producer. The fulfillment is just crazy and it's not about the recognition it was a it was more about i'm so proud of you kind of thing it feels like affirmation i didn't know that to be recognized in the philippines like by our peers would mean so much more what do you think about your legacy as early as now in your career oh my gosh i don't know but like that's so intense but <laughs> As a tita, I know this Oprah quote. As a tita, <laughs> sabi ni Oprah, um, because she she put up the school in Africa. So sabi niya kay Maya Angelou, I think this is gonna be my legacy. Because ang sagot ni Maya Angelou, you have no idea what your legacy will be. Parang of all the years that you were in on TV on your show, you don't know who watched that and learned yeah. something from you and taught it to someone else and. This happened because of that. So I feel like legacy is so like encompassing. The ang hirap isipin. So I think it's really just a matter of like making good choices for us and being part of work that we believe in and always doing our best and hoping that somebody watches it, guide one person, and it inspires them to do their own thing. 